You know what day it is, don't you? It's Tuesday. Hello, people. Hello. Wow. Tuesday. Beautiful weather. Beautiful day. You know what I'm saying. Ah, hello, everybody. How's everyone doing today? Hey, Five Matt 37 What's up, Fiction Writer 37 Hello, Jay Chase. What's up to all of you guys? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, nothing's new. <laughs> hey, hey, Walker Bait. Hey, all of you guys. How's it going? Are you guys doing well today? I hope you are. I really do. I hope you're having the best day in the world. I see a lot of you guys are very excited. Very excited to see me here. Really, really, really. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, hope you guys are doing well. Today, we're going to have so much fun today. Um, You know, today is National Bikini Day, which means that you need to be out there. Be in the pool, okay, if you, if you want to. You know what I mean? Go out there with the beautiful weather. Enjoy it. Have fun. Let me see. Let's say hi to more. Hey, Till Blue Girl. Hey, baby, Nessa814. What's up, JM Rudy91? How's it going? What did you guys do this weekend? Did you guys have a good weekend? One person said, let's see. They said, oh, one, oh, wow, wait a minute. Patty B's daughter was birthday was yesterday, and she also got engaged on Saturday. Patty B, you're having a good weekend, aren't you? Wow. I hope your weekend, <laughs> well, I guess I hope your week gets even better before I play this game. Hopefully you'll win. What else? What else did you guys do? Oh, a lot of people said, said said they had a good time. Some people said they enjoyed the weekend. They went out to dinner. They had barbecues, birthdays, everything. I hope today is another day that you shall remember. Let me read a mo few more people. Hey, R.W. Clark, he went to Niagara Falls. Someone else had cake. And then last but not least, I'm going to say hello, hello to Smiley Jackson. You guys, I think it's time. It's time for us to have a good old time. You know why? You want to know why? Because we're back from the holiday weekend and it's National Workaholics Day. But this is your chance to take a break from your work to play the Tuesday edition of Swagbucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Yes, people. So listen up. We work really hard to bring games that are fun and rewarding. And the proof of that is right here in our grand prizes. So check this out. Look at that. That right there is $1,000. OK, and if you can correctly answer all 10 of our multiple choice trivia questions about any and everything, you're going to win your share of it. All right. It's that simple. So in this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. Now, if you're eliminated from grand prize contention, you'll need to claim your bonus SB at the end of the game in order to keep them. That's as simple as clicking the button that appears at the end of the game. Boom, just like that. Now, if you win the game, your bonus is claimed automatically because that's just an extra little perk for being a winner. You know what I mean? So listen, you guys, the comments have done their job, but it's time for them to go. So today's game can begin. You guys ready? I think you're ready. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get started. Here is question number one. Let's go. What famous painting is known for the subject smile? Mona Lisa, American Gothic, or Whistler's Mother. Known for the subject smile. What secret is she hiding behind that, that wry smile of hers, you guys? I really want to know. Because we don't know much about the subject of the Mona Lisa. So that, I guess, will remain a mystery. Mona Lisa is the correct answer. 26,554 of you guys got that one right. And you knew that Mona Lisa was the right answer. Isn't there a movie called Mona Lisa Smile? I feel like there is. You guys let me know in the comments. I, I think I'm right. I think there is a movie called Mona Lisa Smile. That's how iconic the, the smile is. All right, you guys, we're going to move on to the next question worth one bonus SV. Here is question number two. Let's go. How do you say good day in Spanish? Buenos dias, buenas tardes, or buenos aires? How do you say good day in Spanish? Now, it's used as a greeting, just like we do here in the States. If you want to be a bit more formal when you encounter someone, just say, buenos dias, hello, good day. 21,793 of you guys got that one right, and you knew that buenos dias was the correct answer. That's 80% of you guys. Boom, congratulations. You know, I'm not going to lie, I thought a few more of you guys would have um, gotten that one right. Did I? Yeah, but hey. But hey, it is what it is. I thought I didn't tell you guys the results, but then boom, it popped up. 79% of you guys got that one right, and then 20% of you guys got that one wrong. But it's okay, because you can still rejoin. You know what I mean? Because that's the right way to go. Moving on to the next question, worth one bonus 
SB. Here is question number three. You guys give me one second here. One second technical difficulties. You know they happen sometimes. One second here. All right. All right, so we're going to move on to question number three. Actually, give me one second here. You guys, you know what happens? This is live. It happens sometimes. You know what I mean? It happens. Just give me a second. Bear with me. I know you guys are in the comments right now saying, what's going on? What is going on? Oh, here we go. All right, you guys. Now it is time. It is working now. Here we go. All right, here we go. We're moving on to the next question. Question number three, worth one bonus. SB, let's go. Korean rapper Psy had a worldwide hit in 2012 with what song? We did it, Gangnam Style or Dynamite? Worldwide hit with what song? A viral explosion of people making their own version of what? Gangnam style complete with the choreography. 24,032 of you guys got the one right. And you knew that Gangnam style was the answer. Remember that? Whoop on Gangnam style. Gangnam style. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That song was really popular. Wow. Really, really popular. What a good song. All right. We're going to move on because, you know, we did take a, a minute in the last question. So. Moving on to the next one. Moving on to question number four, worth one bonus SB. Let's get to it. What European city is home to the Arc de Triomphe? London, Paris, or Barcelona? London, Paris, or Barcelona? Now, taking 26 years to complete, it stands at the center of place charles de gaulle as a symbol of french identity so of course you guys you know where it is it's in paris baby paris Twenty-one thousand nine hundred and eighty-two 982 of you guys got the one right and you knew that paris was the correct answer come on now see you guys 88 percent of you guys knew that paris is the home to the arc de triomphe all right 20 2000 2200 of you guys have rejoined so i like it i like it let's move on to the next we're halfway there you guys so we can do it Next question worth one bonus SB. Here's question number five. Which Sex in the City cast member did not return for and just like that? Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker, Kim Cattrall, or Cynthia Nixon? Who did not return? Okay, that, that's the key word right there, not. Now, they may have played the closest of friends on screen for several years, but life didn't really imitate art. And Kim Cattrall passed on the opportunity to return. Kim said, uh, not today, not interested. It happens, you guys, it happens. 15,163 of you guys got the one right and you knew that Kim Cattrall is the one who said, no, she wasn't down. And it's okay because it happens sometimes, right? We don't know what happened behind the scenes and I don't think we're gonna find out. 4,000 of you guys have rejoined. So I think it's time for us to move on. We can move on to the next question. Question six, worth one bonus SB. Let's go. May Day is derived from which, from which Gaelic festival? Samhain, Lunasa, or Beltane? Samhain, Lunasa, or Beltane? Okay, so many modern holidays are derived from Gaelic or pagan celebrations. The European celebration of the beginning of summer comes from the Gaelic May Day Festival of Beltane, you guys. Beltane is the correct answer. 12,930 of you guys got that one right. And you knew that Beltane was the correct answer. So far, the last couple questions have been like the 60th percentile, but I'm hoping that for the next one, more of you guys would know it because why not, you know, but hey, 12,930 is still a good amount of people. Let's move on to the next question with one bonus SB is question number seven. Let's go. Which of the following animals is nocturnal? Raccoon, hummingbird or cardinal? Which of the following animals is nocturnal? Nocturnal. Which one? So nocturnal animals sleep the day away and get down to business at night. For the correct answer, business means 
knocking over our garbage cans and eating out of them. I think you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the raccoon, of course, because they just love to do that. 16,560 of you guys got that one right. And you knew that the raccoon is the reason for all that trash in the morning. Mm, you guys need to stay away. Listen, 98%. I told you guys you guys would come back, right? That's what I'm talking about. Let's move on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here's question number eight. In India, what were punkas used for? Cooling, roasting, or bathing? Cooling, roasting, or bathing. So this simple device was a large piece of cloth on the ceiling moved back and forth by someone pulling on a cord, which was how rich people in India stayed cool. All right. It was for cooling. 10,692 of you guys knew that the punkas were for cooling. It's kind of like a, it almost seems like it was like a, a fan but a fan that someone had to use their hands for. You know what I mean? Hey, it was very luxury back then. Moving on to the next question, you guys, worth one bonus SB. Here we go. Question number nine. Let's go. How many total sonnets did William Shakespeare write? Three, 154, or 1,001? How many total sonnets? Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. That right there is the most famous opening line of all 154 of Shakespeare's love poems. You guys heard what I said? 154. 11,060 of you have made it this far, and you're ready for our final question. Pew, pew, pew. All right, you guys. So, have Happy on hand with drumstick. Time. Here's how. Add these frozen treats to your list and magic receipts. Then buy one drumstick, Oreo, and haagen frozen desserts in store at Walmart and earn 100 SB when you upload a photo of your receipt as proof of purchase. Buy two on the same receipt and earn 250 SB. Listen, no matter what your sweet tooth is looking for, you can find it in this deal. You have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this opportunity, so make sure to check it out after the game. If you're anything like me and you love frozen desserts, it is definitely worth it, okay? All right, final question. We made it, you guys. Let's take a deep breath because, you know, it's question number 10. One, two, three, breathe it in. Let it out. All right, question 10, one bonus SB. Here we go. Rene Descartes is known by what nickname? The uncle of modern science, the cousin of modern mechanics, or the father of modern philosophy? Rene Descartes is known by what nickname? Not only is Descartes a famous mathematician and scientist, but his provocative takes on thought and action make him the father of modern philosophy. Come on now, 96% of you, 10,742 of you guys got that one right. You knew that answer, and you're splitting our grand prize. You heard that? That right there is a clap for you guys. Congratulations to all of you guys who are splitting our grand prize today. I'm very excited for you. Let's see some of you. I'm going to call some of your names out. We have Ashix Love. We have Farhan Duai. We have Samulia494, Sherrod Will. Uh, GHT08782, and last but not least, Tekavin405. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Congratulations to you. Now that you all have new SB in your account, you know what you got to do with them, right? Redeem them for PayPal Cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. You guys, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for playing. Thank you for winning. All of the above. Make sure to come back tomorrow for another round.